It's a bit of a of a rash conclusion to draw, really, because there are other things at play here as well. Uh, among them is the, the the contest for resources, which are very scarce, which are becoming scarcer in this region, partly also as a result of climate change. And we have also got the absence of the state, which has been in evidence there since insecurity started mounting in that particular part of the country at least two, two and a half years ago. So it's a bit more complex than that. But yes, of course, once did you realize that only two months ago, a majority Pearl village was attacked in the same region, one could construe this as, as a revenge attack. And indeed, there have been claims to that effect. The scale of the violence has been getting worth, worse. Um, you had tit-for-tat attacks before, but they were small in scale. I mean, even one life loss is obviously one life too many, but they were not on the scale that we have seen in the past couple of months where literally scores of people are being massacred and being killed. And you have to wonder why this is happening and you have to wonder, and this is what Malians are doing as well, where all the arms are coming from and where the motivation is coming from to do all this. And that's something that the nation is struggling to comprehend and to understand.